Happy Shade Today, today number, number 258. I'm Scott. I'm Sagan. And we're siblings. And, and we sing sea shanties and sea shanty adjacent music. And it's Sunday. It is Sunday. Yep. And we put up some Christmas decorations. I was say, we don't have all of them. No, up, they're not all up yet. Yeah, they're starting to. They're starting, they're to, starting to appear. Yep. We actually have a tree over there. You, you can't, you can't, see, can't it. see it, though. But we're going to tell you that it's there. It's you there. may not believe us, but, but it you is. You have to believe. It's the season of believing. <laughs> and believe it or not, we've got a shanty for you today. Oh, How about boy. that segue? That was an interesting one. Yeah, it was. I don't know. Um, so the tune for this you might recognize is New York Girls. Um, however, the, the lyrics are different. So this song is called uh, Mr. Tapscott. Um, and the version that I'm familiar with comes from, uh, it was uh, sung by Sam Lee uh, on the uh, 2011 anthology of sea songs collected from John Short by Cecil Sharp, uh, which is called Short Sharp Shanties. Of course it There's is. There's three volumes of it, by the way. Um, but Sam Lee noted, um, uh... Tapscott was William Tapscott from my Minehead Somerset family that had lived in the town uh, from at least the mid-1770s. Uh, William was an American packet ship broker with offices on Regents Road, Liverpool, and Eden K, Dublin. He worked in conjunction, with, in conjunction with his brother James, who looked after the New York end of the business, and specialized in selling prepaid passages to successful immigrants who now wish to bring their families to America. These are indeed the Tapscott brothers... Um, that we talked about way earlier in this series. a long time ago at this point, yeah. Uh, they were agents for the Black Ball Line and at one point uh, also for the Red Cross Line of American Packets. Uh, together they fleeced the unsuspecting. The Tapscott brothers were systematic villains whose frauds began with their advertisements, although Tapscott advertised that his passages were on ships of over 1,000 tons and even as much as 2,000 tons, which would have been very large ships, um, in fact, most were barely 600 tons. So uh, advertising passage to people is like, oh, yeah, it's going to be a huge ship, lots of room on it, and it's you're stuck in there. Nope. Um, as, the wealth, as their wealth increased, the Tapscots set up their own shipping line. Cheap immigrant passages was the name of the game, but conditions were atrocious and the food poor. In 1849, William Tapscott was adjudged bankrupt and in the same year was charged with fraud concerning the money of shareholders and the business. He was found guilty and sentenced to three years penal servitude. Uh, the line's eponymous ship, the, the 1593-ton William Tapscott, was eventually wrecked at Bood on the North Cornwall coast on the 29th of March, 1881, uh, while Aust, while, whilst on a trip uh, from Pernambuco to Cardiff uh, in Ballast. Her figurehead, salvaged from the sea, now resides in the local museum. Um, so there's a couple of places that are mentioned in the shanty itself, uh, Castle Gardens and Fulton Ferry. Um, uh, they are both, um, disembarkation points for, uh, immigrants to America, um, where they were then, uh, processed. Um, so these dudes were not good. Um, when they worked for the Black Ball Line, they tantalized sailors with stories of, um, easy living right, and, right, right, right. uh, relaxed conditions, um, and then basically made enough money off of lying to sailors uh, to start their own line, which they then treated people terribly on. But at um, least they got caught. They did get caught. They did get caught. Um, and they, I don't know, they got people across the ocean for low prices, but uh, yeah, the journey there would not was, be uh, the way that no, anyone would want to go. Not yep. at all. Um, however, uh, the shanty, the, the, the song itself is actually as much more uh, sort of uh, light and happy and tongue in cheek. Um, not, uh, not, not really dark at all. There's actually, there's some pretty funny uh, lines in here, but, uh, so the chorus, uh, being very similar to New York girls, uh, you can give us that pitch mm. and away you sent my dear Annie. Oh, you sent I love you for your money. So the second line is the one where it's changed. The The first one is basically the same. Yeah. Uh, one no more time. Polking yep, no polking. Yep, no polking on Mr. Top Scout's line. Fair enough. And away you sent he, my dear Annie. Oh, you sent he, I love you for your money. Easy enough. Yeah, easy enough. Yeah. You ready? You ready? I'm ready. All right. <laughs> <laughs> 
As I was a walking down by the Clarence Dock, I overheard an Irish girl conversing with Tab Scott. And away is Santy, my dear Annie. Oh, yes, Santy, I love you for your money. Good morning, Mr. Tapscott. Good morning, sir, says, says she. Oh, have you got a ship of fame to carry me o'er the sea? And, and away, yes, Santy, my dear Annie. Oh, yes, Santy, I love you for your money. Oh, yes, I have a ship of fame. Tomorrow she sets sail. She's lying in the Waterloo dock, a taking in her mail. And away, yes, Santy, my dear Annie. Oh, yes, Santy, I love you for your money. The day was fine when we set sail, but nice had scarce begun. A dirty Norwest wind came up and drove us back again, again. And away, you Santy, my dear Annie. Oh, you Santy, I love you for your money. Our captain, being an Irish man, as you shall understand, he hoisted out his small boat on the banks of Newfoundland and and away, you Santy, my dear Annie. Oh, you Santy, I love you for your money. Twas at the castle gardens where they landed me on shore. And if I marry a Yankee boy, I'll go to sea no more. And away, you Santy, my dear Annie. Oh, you Santy, I love you for your money. Uh, sorry. I went down to Fulton Ferry, but I could not get across. I jumped on the back of a ferryboat man and rode him like a horse. And, and away, you Santy, my dear Annie. Oh, you Santy, I love you for your money. My father is a butcher, my mother chops the meat. My sister keeps a slap-up shop away down on Water Street. And away, you Santy. My dear Annie, oh, you Santy, I love you for your money. And away, you Santy, my dear Annie, oh, you Santy, I love you for your money. <laughs> Oh, that's the other thing I did. Huh. So a slap up shop, yeah, um, was a was a specific was a specific kind of restaurant um, where the so you would pay in advance. You would actually pay before you got the meal. Okay, um, but then the meal portions themselves uh, were very large. Um, very large and very hearty. So uh, perhaps a a predecessor to uh, our uh, our um, American fast food. Restaurants sure. where you walk yeah, up, put your order so. in, yeah, pay yeah, for yeah. it, and then they give you, and the, then they give you the, they food the food afterwards. Out. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. yeah. Interesting. I was thinking like a buffet, too. Yeah, Usually could be. pay for those up front and sure. then you get to go eat. I don't know. One of those things. Um, well, I don't know. That's all I got. All right. Hey, be safe. We love you. And uh, we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye. Bye.